you're excited. It's all about love this week on City Line, and you know we don't talk about love without talking about food. It's our three chefs, well, two anyways. Jason Parsons, <laughs> Chef Massimo Capra, come on in here. Hello. Where's the third? Where are you hiding the third? I don't know. That's it. We got rid of him. Done. It's two chefs and a pay chen. That's yes. what's going <laughs> on the show. That sounds like a movie, no. Actually, all three chefs will make an appearance today. We're going to see Randy Feltis uh, <coughs> in some tape because he surprised a oh. lovely young couple. But first, let's talk about romantic recipes. I mean, yeah. nothing gets people in the mood like chocolate. Okay, That's we're not doing chocolate. Yeah. Oh, well, you are doing well, chocolate. I'm getting chocolate in here. We're doing food, we're doing chocolate. This is more of a savory yeah. recipe. I, I wanted to do savory dishes, but then I thought, Valentine's, you gotta get chocolate in there somewhere. Yes, you do. Chocolate molde sauce. Yes. Yeah, I know, it's awesome. Do it, chef. And it's got a little spice to it, too, you right. know? So, uh, I don't know, I always think about uh, how can you add something really interesting for that day, because, you know, you want something that's uh, it's different, you know? I mean, you yeah, have dinner, of. hopefully, almost every night, you know, together. Yeah. This night should be special. I agree. Yeah. So, I agree. As long as chocolate's in there, I am all in. Yeah, I started off with a little bit of butter. Just a little. <laughs> um, <laughs> but a no, pound of butter. The cool thing with this is, is actually something you can make and you can do it the day before, keep it in the fridge, oh, it's in the hole, so that you know if you're back and you're you know getting you know, a nice suit on, doing your hair up, doing the house up, yeah. you know, hand picking the flower, the roses <laughs> for your wife. Yes. Right. All the things that I'm sure I like Massimo where does. This is going. Oh yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, but uh, then what I've got here though is. Some, just some red peppers. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to throw those in there. And you just want to lightly, you know, warm it through. You want to get the, it's all about bringing the aromatics out of this, bringing the right. flavors out of it. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, crank this up. Actually, I'm going to move right over here. We're going to find out how much of a romantic guy Massimo is as well, Ma Mass. We'll talk all about that later. I, is like, that a threat? No. Oh, well, oh my. No. Like, you look what like have we a got in store? You look like a romantic dude to me. I do. Well, with yeah. a mustache <laughs> like that. I mean, with a mustache come like on. that, you have to be romantic. Oh, come right. on. I mean, come on. You can't be sitting there going, you know what? Um, so, I've got some tomatoes. I got a little bit of red peppers in there. But here's the thing. Oh, it smells good. It's got to have some spice, some heat. I agree. Now, at my house, you know, we put in a couple of those. Meg doesn't like the hot, hot. Well, no, it's me. I'm the, I'm oh, the pansy, yeah. right? I can't handle it. I just, you know, it's the English stomach, you know. Oh, okay. Unless you line it with like Guinness or something. You know. <laughs> but because you're here, and oh, every, nice. every time I'm on this show, you're like, it's never hot enough. So, <laughs> let's eat it I'm up. I used to a little kick. Yeah. Uh, some That's sesame great. seeds. And they just give a real nice texture to it, a little nutty flavor, right? Okay. But uh, you just want to kind of open up the spices. Mm -hmm. You know, in here, I've got, you know, I think I've got a star anise in here, I've got cinnamon in here, I've got cardamom in here. The thing is, though, on the recipe, I actually put to buy the spices and then grind them down. Okay. You can buy ground star anise, you can buy ground cardamom, but it's never strong, it's never as vibrant. So buy the actual pods and then just a little coffee grind it, pulse yeah. it down, and just uh, a little bit. It's going to be more flagrant yeah. that way, huh? Oh, it's, it's, it is about the spice. you got to remember okay. chocolate. It's got a high fat content. It's very rich, very creamy. It will, like, dumb down the spices. Right. So you really need to kind of add a little bit more than you think you would normally would. Go overboard okay. in the spices. Ah, some onions oh, in there. Oh, onion, nice. Yep. Yep. I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah, okay. I well. like everything stinky <coughs> and hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. Oh, no, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it. No, just leave it. Just leave that one alone. <laughs> Let it breathe. Uh, a little bit of garlic in there as well. <laughs> but the, the key is here is, you know, just to kind of move them around the pan. They get that nice little shine to it. Yeah. That's what you want. You don't have to brown these. You just want to open up the flavors. Most okay, so it's yep. smelling nice amazing. Yeah. yeah, but most important thing with yeah. spices, right? You want to actually get that Absolutely. Um, cooked. So this is where you would add a bunch of stock. Yeah. And then you just let it simmer away. Okay? okay. While that's simmering away, though, we'll come and finish the uh, mole sauce in a second. I'm actually going to do a little mm -hmm. satay to go with this. Okay, right. so this is, what, do you dip this in the mole sauce? Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I've got here, if we can peel these apart, is some prosciutto. <laughs> Good. There you go. And I'm going to get you to Look do a few thing. as well. You want me to do it? I'm used yeah, to you can do a few as well. And then we've got a nice little yeah. bit of mozzarella. And you can see I bought pre-sliced here. I'm not working too hard on Valentine's Day, okay? Yeah. Come on. Well, no. you made the sauce. That's you got to save enough. my energy. I mean, no. no uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then a little bit of chicken that you I know, just grilled He's romantic. Huh? He's the romantic one. <laughs> <laughs> chicken cooked up, put on a little skewer. Right. And then you just roll it up. So we got know? three different uh, countries over here. We go Mexico, oh, yes. Thailand, and uh, no Italy. Borders. No yeah, borders. Absolutely. You no, know, with romance, borders can't there hold you us. Go. They can't contain us. Okay, so yet? check that out. Yep. That's beautiful. We're going to wrap a few more yeah. of those, but I just want to see go, go. how romantic yep. this guy really is. <laughs> it is the week of love. Yeah. So we decided to find out how our chefs popped the question. Uh -oh. Here is Jason. Take a look. Uh oh. 
I mean, you know, we had ring shopping, we had talked about things, I mean, it was just, it was amazing how when Megan and I started dating, right away it was like we were a couple for the rest of our lives. Oh my gosh, how did I propose to her? It was kind of, well, you gotta remember, I was a 21 year old scrawny little kid, right? Uh, and I, at the time I was doing my apprenticeship, so I was working nine days on, get a day off, and I remember I had the ring, and I wanted to go and ask her dad first. You know, you gotta do the profession, you know, proper. But I, I only had that afternoon off, so I invited her to uh, go down the park. We went to the park that we always go to. I was sitting there, and I'm just like sweating like crazy. And I finally get down on one knee and do the whole thing. And it was fantastic, you know, obviously she said yes. So we rush home, and her parents are literally pulling in the driveway, unloading groceries. So she runs over to her mom and says, look, I got engaged. First thing out of her mom's mouth, well, didn't he ask your dad first? And I was like, oh no, I can't believe I'm starting off this way. But uh, yeah, sure enough, she said yes, and here we are 20 years later. I was in the, in the doghouse right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, terrible. I, I yeah. like the tradition of it, that's true. Yeah. Was, was, was the dad okay? Oh yeah, it was fine. But oh, okay, I'm in the doghouse right away though. Like, she's... <laughs> But, that's uh, beautiful. Yeah, let's move really forward about sweet. 20 years. Um, 20 years <laughs> later? That yeah, was 20 October years was 20 ago. Years. Yeah. That's incredible. Give him a round of applause for that. I think that's awesome. yeah. It's a testament. I mean, it's not that easy to stay married for a very long time in this day and age. That's uh, lovely. We're, we're meant to be. Yes, uh, but, you were anyway, meant to I'm be. Anyway, I'm not good at that stuff. But, uh, <laughs> chicken. So, okay, um, chicken. We let's roll them all up. Chicken. All you do is just pop them in the oven. You melt them down. The cheese will melt around it. The prosciutto yes. gets nice and warm. And then what we do with this mole, once it's reduced down, yeah. put that right in a blender and you just puree some chocolate, some raisins, some almonds, ah. some bread. And look at this thing. Isn't this insane? Oh, chocolate that's sauce. how it looks. What kind of chocolate did you use? I just use a nice bittersweet dark chocolate, but okay. you can use whatever you want. All right. But look at that. Isn't that oh like God, nice no, chocolate? I'm drooling. My you know. mouth is salivating. And, it's a chocolate and the fountain. candle keeps it nice and warm in case <laughs> you need the chocolate for something else later on. But I'm you know, not sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> There you go. Not the mole, I heard man. what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful recipe. We're putting all of our recipes uh, online, cityline.ca. But that, if that doesn't get you in the mood, I don't know what will.